Join the resistance. NASA mechanical engineer Dr. Norman Bergren claims that aliens are gathering in the rings of Saturn. According to Dr. Bergren, the rings of Saturn represent a fuel source used in the propulsion of their craft. If he is correct, then one could infer from the photographic evidence of the exhaust gases emitted from these craft that they use a combustion-based propulsion system not unlike our own low-tech chemical rockets. What's the matter? You were expecting anti-gravity, time dilation, or warp drive? Huh. I have made the case before that the aliens touring our planet are not nearly as technologically advanced as we give them credit. Because if they were, at the very least, they would have the ability to cloak their presence from us. I guess I will have to add that to my list of reasons why I doubt their extreme technological superiority. Dr. Bergren presented his theory about 20 years ago in his book, The Ringmakers of Saturn. He is on high alert today, however, because apparently the extremely tall black aliens who pilot these ring material driven craft seem to be organizing an invasion. That's right, they are proliferating. Now that is worrisome. Possibly both confirming and denying the long held stereotype that black people never suffer from the alien abduction syndrome. One theory suggests that this is a sort of interplanetary affirmative action exchange. Who knows? All jokes aside, this is a myth. Anyone who knows anything about the history of the gray alien phenomena has at least heard of Betty and Barney Hill's interrupted journey. It doesn't take a rocket surgeon to figure out that Barney Hill, one of the first modern alien abduction victims ever recorded, was of African-American descent. Reports of these tall black extraterrestrials can be found in relatively high concentration when compared to other xenotypes. According to abductee accounts, the tall black aliens share enough physical characteristics with the praying mantis-like beings to assume that they are one in the same, and both the victims of mistaken identity. NASA scientist Dr. Norman Bergren is not the only one to describe these tall black aliens. NASA Space Shuttle Mission spacecraft operator Clark C. McClellan describes a nine foot tall black alien with extremely long arms that he saw emerge from the Apollo capsule right here on Earth at the Kennedy Space Center. He watched this being for one minute and seven seconds and noticed no supplemental breathing apparatus on his spacesuit, nor did he carry any weapons. The creature did not seem to have a voice, yet it successfully communicated through very frantic and nervous hand gestures. I don't have to point out how dramatically fantastic these claims are. Aside from the possibility that these men are individual elements of a brilliantly orchestrated disinformation campaign, not unlike that of the Bluebeam project designed to conceal the existence of domestic experimental spacecraft or the WikiLeaks secret space program, it is not in these men's best interest to lie. Keep in mind that both of these men are highly decorated NASA officials packing a laundry list of qualifications, meaning that they have far more to lose than to gain from telling a fantastical story like this. I haven't decided whether or not I believe them just yet. What I do know for sure is that there's no way in hell the government can claim that these guys are crazy. If these men are crazy, then the Department of Defense really needs to step up their standards for the psychological profile testing administered to its potential space program candidates. The fact that they passed all of the federal government's own battery of psychological tests is what lends so much value and credibility to their testimony. That being said, they are not without possible motive. Dr. Bergren did write a book which made his story profitable, but I just cannot see a man of his age, reputation, and financial stability trading in his legacy for a few more meaningless books. <laughs>